Howdy y'all, Fuzzy Biker here at Baxter Cycle, the Mighty Mini Tropolis of Marnia. We're going to take a look at a Triumph today, not that one, this one. Isn't this cool? This is a 1970 Triumph Trophy 250. This just came in, I know very little about it, but I've been looking it over, and it's just a really good looking machine. I would love to hear it running, but it's been winterized, so we got to get it through the shop yet. And those guys are busy for a day or two, but uh, isn't this just amazing? Look at all the little details that are there. I did talk to the owner. He put these big knobby tires on there and stuff like that. One of the interesting things he talked about was the uh, this heat guard is the like the original. The original one was gone, but he found one just like the original. This is made out of fiberglass. And uh, he found a guy that had four of them left over in England. It's got a concentric carb. It's a uh, dual overhead valve. I'm sorry, two valve overhead valves. Look at this. Isn't that neat? I love the way those look. It's got the uh, cams down here. Push rods go up through here. You know, just beautiful, beautiful four-speed transmission. He did put a new oil uh, pressure switch on it. Here's a clutch right here. Kickstart only, of course. Isn't that just gorgeous? This is art to me. I just, whenever I see this, you know, this teardrop shape, you know, the little lever there, the, all these little details, the fineness of the uh, castings, you know, you know, this is all done in sand, I bet you. I'm not sure about that, but it's uh, just amazing. Check out the frame. It's a swing arm bike. I'm not sure. Are those girling shocks in the back? Uh, oil tank right there. Just gorgeous. Look at that tank. Kind of an interesting tank. So it's got the big logo on there, the 3 d It's got the knee pads, Triumph. The flat cap, gas cap. This right here, I'd like to see what that covers. Maybe I can feel something. Yeah, it's one tank. It's a one-piece tank. All the little details in there. The, you know, of course, the Triumph flat seat, little grab bar. Check out the lights on the back. Light on the back, I should say. Tail light, brake light. I love that. I don't know if this is original paint or not, but it's just a beautiful, beautiful thing. I guess, so this is a 70. The pipe was on this side. 69, 68, the pipe was on this side. He was telling me something about the pipes being longer and just different compared to what this is. Looks like somebody took the foot pegs off, the back foot pegs. The adjuster for the swing arm there. This is the uh, drive for the uh, speedometer, the narrow shoe or single shoe or whatever they call that. Brake for the back. I love mechanical brakes. And here's the adjuster right here. Isn't that just nifty? The old-fashioned brake switch right there. Watch that. Right there. That's what activates the uh, brake light. Look at that. Isn't that nifty? Clutches under there, I'm sure. Just a gorgeous little machine. Hey, is that the ignition? I wonder if they got the key. I'll have to ask them about that. Jumping up here. So clutch. We think that's a kill switch. He said none of this was hooked up. I would guess that would have been a high-low and then a horn. Throttle on this side. Brake, of course. So this is what he used for his headlight. Uh, oil light, and I can't remember what he said that was, but this is the oil light on one side. I think that's a high-low light is what he called it. Uh, it does have a Smith gauge, and I'm going to mention it. There's a guy that lives down the road here. He repairs these, rebuilds them, can do anything you want to a Smith gauge. And actually other gauge. You can reprint the faces, recrimp, put new glass in. He can do it all. Just amazing. But check out those bars. It's got the... Uh, one mirror, of course, and I love these front hubs. Look at this, the hub cap. You know, <laughs> covered tubes, the old-fashioned rectifier. Look at this uh, dual leading shoe front brake, the intake down here. These are usually covered, but that one looks open. Usually when you look at these intakes, there's a cover over that because they don't want water getting in there. They take the cover off when it rains. Here's the exit point right here. Metal wheels, of course. Just a good looking machine. Looks like a whole bunch of fun, doesn't it? Looks like a whole day of just, you know, exhaust fumes and entertainment. A little headlight cover right there. That's nifty too. Chrome bucket. Gorgeous. I love the way these look. Just a wonderful looking thing. Just a wonderful looking thing. I like the way the pipe is colored. He said he had it running last fall. We're in the beginning of March here right now. I don't know if anybody knows, is that the girling mark for the shock? Both have it. Little cut out here for the shock on the muffler. <laughs> gorgeous, gorgeous, fun looking machine. 
All right, y'all, if y'all are interested in a new used Royal Enfield Triumph classic British bike like this one, which is, by the way, is made by BSA. <laughs> he traded it in for a new Triumph 400, which is made by, I think, Mahindra. So the guy has had two Triumphs that I know of, neither one made by uh, Triumph. You know, anyway, amazing. If you're interested in something like this, need parts, gear, shoes, boots, backpacks, anything like that at all, get over here to Baxter Cycle in the mighty mini tropolis of Marty, Iowa, or go to BaxterCycle.com. Make sure you tell them folks that Fuzzy Biker sent you. Now, it's a beautiful day out here, and I'm going to tell you that I'm going to go for a bike ride, but I'm not going to ride that bike. Surprised. Wahoo!